Okay, this is on the Soto job, number 53650. It's dollar on 630 by Aaron. Okay, so we are changing out this furnace here with the new furnace, um, four ton heat pump, new coil, S30 thermostat, and we will re be replacing this humidifier with another bypass. Um, Okay, so duct just as it shows. Um, furnace will sit on the straight on the right side. Um, sit on a nine inch base. Furnace coil, little piece of duct, canvas, and starting collar. And starting collar on the back, you'll have to cut two inches into the two by fours. <clears throat> okay. Um, on the return air, we can have a, a five inch wide filter box, 25 by 29, and duct just as it shows. Um, your boot's gonna come all the way out to the very edge. Um, so, that line right there. Anyway, um, cut line up there, so I just, to that cut line, then to the edge. So that side's going to be straight, this side's going to be a 90. And no starting color from front to back because our duct's right there, right in front of the gas line. I have it going back a half inch actually. Um, okay. So combustion air is okay, it's right there. Label it. Our vent. We're going to just take this vent off and put a four inch aluminum cap in there. Um, and our flu vent, three inch PVC up. You're going to follow over um, somewhat by this radon pipe. So probably if you remove this two by four or something, but I'll show you in the garage. Um, there is a bunch of wires in there, he said, and there's also a hose spigot, so um, make sure you know what's back there. I'm just relaying to you what he said. <laughs> um, but I'll show you in the garage when we go up and look at the AC. But we're going to go up into the garage and then up into the attic and out the roof. Um, where the radon comes out, you can't see it from the road. And he requested that we hide this in the valley by the radon. So you can't see it from the road. So that is what we'll do. Um, so I'll give you a concentric to go up through the roof. Okay. Um, gas, just as it shows. Um, from the cock, you're gonna add a two T drip leg and uh, 12 out of the furnace, 92 in flex. Um, heat pump, I'll go over in a minute. Thermostat, you're gonna put an S30 thermostat on. Um, and I will give you a transformer for the heat pump, I believe. Um, well, if you need it, I looked at the wire, but I'm not sure that it was a four wire or two wire. Um, so thermostat S30, humidifier, just replace it, mount the new one on the front, reuse the hot water is already hot. So reuse the nineties. I'll give you a six inch 90 and some more pipe. Wire into the S30 thermostat. Drain to the floor. Standard order with humidifier. Okay, so let's go out there and look at the heat pump and the flues.
Okay, we'll go in the garage first. Okay, so over here's that radon pipe. Here's the hose spigot. There's those other two inch PVCs. So you're gonna have to come off, you know, next to this vacuum, in between the vacuum and the hose spigot. Come up and I'll see if I can get you three or two of those three inch, three and a half inch fire blocks. I think they're code in a garage. Um, so I'll get, get you two of those things. But up through the rest. So let's go out and look at the AC. <coughs> AC is on the AC is on the west side of the house. And you have a basement entrance right there, by the way. Okay, so the breaker panel is in the furnace room. Um, it's on a 50 amp breaker right now. And this condensing unit is in front of the disconnect. And right next to this tree. So we need to, we're going to use this disconnect as a junction box and just run our conduit out here and add another disconnect over here. It has like an outlet and stuff in there. So we'll get complete circuit out there to do that. And we'll add a 40 amp breaker on our new disconnect. And he requested that we move this pad over center in between the two trees. So it's not right tight against this one. And I did tell him he needs to keep his tree trees trimmed back to get keep from sucking into the unit so he's aware just make sure your disconnect is over enough so we can do that okay um and that's it